am I okay? It kind of put me in this like quarter life crisis where I was like, it doesn't matter, if it gets in your eyes, it doesn't actually hurt. Cause look, oh, okay, maybe a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just thought I would insert a little clip here. In today's video, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup, showing you guys what I've been doing recently. I love this look. So if you wanna find out how I do this look, then keep on watching. But also I'm gonna be getting real with you guys so you can get to know a little bit of what's going on in my life recently because I feel like I've been a little bit AWOL. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and let's just get into it. Should I put earrings in? No, let's keep it simple. Simple, keep it simple in this top. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. I really just wanted to sit down today, do my makeup and have a little catch up video. I haven't actually updated you guys on my makeup routine in the longest time. And I thought, let's just take this opportunity to give you guys a little life update as well. So let's just get into this video. I am wearing this really, extra top today this is from jaded london's new collection i thought it was sick when i saw it but it keeps riding up like do you guys see how it's literally just sitting here and i was gonna wear it on a night out and i'm just like it's a bit risky if i raise my arms it's game over maybe if i get some tape let's <laughs> i'm gonna have to like tie my hair up off camera <laughs> I don't flash you guys. I tied it up, I put some earrings in. I felt like my ears just looked a bit bare. <laughs> Obviously, I've already done my skincare. I've literally done the same sort of skincare routine for a couple years now. So I've definitely spoken about it before on my channel, but I can't lie, I might have deleted that video. <laughs> so the makeup look I've been loving at the moment is dewy, sort of natural, but it kind of looks like your skin, but better kind of vibe. Last time I did one of these videos, I didn't wear foundation. I don't know who that girl was. She was obviously really enjoying life because I don't think I could go without foundation. I mean, I could not wear foundation, but at the minute I'm a foundation gal because I just find that it makes me look 10 times better. The look I'll do today in this video is sort of what I had on my birthday, if you watch my birthday vlog, just really glowy and dewy and kind of natural. I don't want to say it's natural because I do like, you know, bronze, blush and all of that, but yeah, you know what I mean. So before I get into my foundation, I do just want to say one of the keys to creating this makeup look is to have a very, very, very moisturised face. I use a thick moisturiser. One I love is the Walida Skin Food, or is it Walida? Oh yeah, it's probably Walida, isn't it? Walida Skin Food Light. And the light one is still heavy as hell. So I use that, but I've run out. So today I used Dr. Organic Manuka Honey Rescue Cream <laughs> all over my face. I just really, really enjoy having a very moisturized face. I do want to say, if you think my eyes look a bit red, I still get eczema on my eyes. I spoke about that a couple of months ago as well. I, listen, I've been a bit stressed. We're going to get into it. But when I'm stressed, the eczema comes back because I'm I'm rubbing my eyes. Okay, let's just get into the foundation now. So the one I am obsessed with is L'Oreal True Match. If you haven't tried this foundation, please, please try it. I actually prefer this over any high-end foundation that I've tried. It just feels amazing. So I am shade Caramel Door slash Golden Toffee. I think that might be 6.5, but I might be wrong. Um, I'll put the correct shade on the screen for my hold a bit closer so you guys can see i used to use a sponge like but as of really recently i've used a brush and when i used it i was like i i don't know why i wasn't using a brush you know so i'm trying not to put too much on i can't lie i can't see what i'm doing i don't know why i was using the viewfinder then okay you guys will be able to see this is a really good color match. So I, I'm using a stippling brush by the way and I just find, God, it just feels so good like this and it's spreading so much easier. Like with a sponge, I feel like your makeup actually takes you twice as long. But can you see how this is like, does that not look like skin? I'm obsessed guys, you need to try it. 
For concealer, I'm actually running a bit low. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match. So this one is quite similar to the foundation shade. So this is shade six. Um, you'll see that I'm literally running out of this one. But I'm gonna do that TikTok hack. It definitely didn't originate on TikTok. It was definitely like some sort of makeup makeup artist's hack. But I'm just here like, yeah, TikTok hack. Um, but <laughs> the one where you just put the concealer in these places. And then this one, I'm also going to put it on my eyelids. But obviously I have to be really gentle in that area when I blend it out. And then I'm using Maybelline Fit Me in shade 25 just to brighten it up. I literally, I was really suffering with my eczema and I couldn't find my steroid like eczema cream anywhere and I kept being like I need to call the doctor, I need to call the doctor but you know like calling the doctor is really difficult, why is it so difficult to call the doctor because I'm like I call at a certain time, they're like, you don't do this over the phone, you do this by email. I don't know, I feel like it's just way too complicated. So I was just never getting round to it. And my eczema was slowly getting worse. And then yesterday it was really bad. So I was like, okay, let me look for this eczema cream one more time. And I actually have a Ottoman bed in my room. And obviously there's loads of stuff like underneath it. I was like, okay, I'm going to open this bed. I'm going to take stuff out. I'm going to look underneath, see if it's in here. It was in that part of my bed please do not ask me why or how but it was there so <laughs> i was very happy to find that it's actually already like working thank god i'm using maybelline fit me loose powder you can't actually get this in the uk but i get mine on amazon so i actually got a three pack i got three for I got three for 30 pounds, which I actually thought was quite a good price. I mean, it's probably priced up from Maybelline, but to me, this is like worth more than like the Laura Mercier powder. I would rather spend 30 pounds and get three of these than like 30 pounds and get one Laura Mercier powder. So this is the setting powder I use. I will link it down below. And I've got shade 20. Anyway, I feel like I've been avoiding giving you like a life update. Not that anything bad has happened, but let's let's get into the life update. <laughs> so what have I been doing? I have definitely struggled with this YouTube channel. Let's just put that out there. And I think it's pretty visible <laughs> that I am struggling with the YouTube channel. So as of like, I want to say September last year, so almost a year ago, was when I started getting into TikTok and Instagram reels. And then from there, I started focusing a lot more on my Instagram just generally. And yeah, I feel like since then, I've been trying to juggle all three platforms because to have all three platforms obviously means, you know, it just means your success rate with brand deals increases i guess because if a brand reaches out to you and they're like okay we want you to make this kind of content you can kind of do any of it <laughs> so i really wanted to have all three at like a solid level so it was going well it's going well but i mean if it's still going well I'm, let me not complain like it is still like i you know it's going well but I've just been struggling a little bit since I started working in my full-time like nine to five office job. I actually told you guys in like a vlog back in January or something that I got a job but that job that I told you guys about was a part-time job and it was it was like a personal assistant job it wasn't really what I wanted to do at all so I was still actively looking for work it was about a month after that where I found a new job. So at the moment, I work in something called digital PR, which is basically, it's like marketing. It's like a new industry within marketing. It's like PR where I'm in contact with journalists, brands, bloggers, and things like that. But I also do the marketing side where I am creating these campaigns for brands to try and increase their SEO. It's all, yeah, it's in that little seo world okay i'm just gonna go in with eyebrows i still use the glossier brow flick and the glossier boy brow yeah so don't get me wrong i do really enjoy my job um it's a really lovely place of work and i like my team um but yeah it's it, it it's 
<laughs> it was starting to take a toll on me and it still is really starting to take a toll on me in terms of like i just have this constant weight on my shoulders that i don't have enough time to make content and it really upsets me and brings me down um if i'm gonna be real with you it really has started to bring me down so i was kind of at this point where i'm like right what am i gonna do to a fix this situation try and be more productive um and you know not throw away what i've worked for because my social media like come on i have been trying to grow not i have been wanting to have this platform for, for like years i started this channel in 2017 and i don't think i ever really saw it like majorly taking off but the point where i'm at now where i'm actually working with brands and i actually have people like messaging me and saying that they like my content and stuff oh my god it's, it's, it makes me emotional because that makes me so happy and it was really stressing me out that it was kind of like being disrupted am i okay i'm also majorly emotional all the time i'm gonna talk about that soon as well so basically that is a situation that i am in in the sense that like it was just affecting my mood and you know when you feel so stressed out that you just don't want to do anything so i would work it's gonna look rubbish if i rush it i'm too tired i'm like you know my face you're gonna see on my face that i don't really want to be doing this and then i was really just avoiding filming and especially with my youtube channel because obviously i can't like with a reel i can stand there let's be real i can just stand there smile on this channel i'm chatting to you guys and i always want to come across genuine obviously i know when i'm in front of a camera i think i naturally do like elevate my personality but at the same time i just hate when i film something and i just come across like disgenuine disgenuine is that a word and also that's the thing as well where i would film and i watch it i watch it back and be like sis i can't post this <laughs> and it was kind of like i was trapped and i still do feel a little bit trapped um but i'm working on it <laughs> we're working on it like as you guys can see i'm back i've got some videos filmed and it's really just made me feel a lot better like when i am productive it's made me feel so much better and it definitely sort of solves so many of my issues when i realize i've actually got tasks completed within a day it really lifts that weight off my shoulders so i think that is the the key thing that i've been struggling with for like maybe three to four months it actually got to a point as well where i was like right i actually need to step back from my influencing because i was like you know it was making me upset if i wasn't posting and then i was kind of seeing other people posting and seeing growth and i was kind of at a standstill and i was it i was letting it get to me i was like well if i had more time i'd be able to do this and then yeah i was like i need to take a step back because now i'm going into work in the morning and not wanting to do that either so it was kind of like a bit of a vicious cycle <laughs> but i'm glad that i've kind of like told you guys that like feels i feel a bit of a relief kind of admitting that on this channel because I definitely think it's something that not everybody talks about especially on instagram when you see girls it's it's very easy to put on a front on instagram if you want to put it that way so that's part of the reason why my eczema came back because your girl was stressed out all the time um but i'm trying at the minute 
to see the light in the situation so my job like i said is a really nice place to work and they're really understanding and they knew when i started my job that i did this influencing and my manager even said to me like i would never want you it to affect that because i know it's something that you love and you've built on um yeah they're really understanding and i think i'm trying to remember that if i'm going through these rough patches i can speak to them you know it's kind of settling this feeling is kind of settling also though i have <laughs> unlimited holiday at my work every time i say that people are like what unlimited holiday what you mean you could just like not come in <laughs> um but it is unlimited holiday you just kind of need to know your limits so it's not like every week you can take two days off because you know like how much your team needs to get done in, in that week or in that month and realistically if you're taking the piss like they're gonna know about it but um i think for a while i was sort of refraining from booking the holiday because do you ever i you know when you kind of feel guilty i kind of just felt guilty that i was like wanted to take off a holiday to do this and film and i'm like i had i sat down with myself and i was like antoinette get on that website right now and book off your holiday so that's what i did i literally got up 7 a.m was like you know what i'm booking holiday this month and i did it and <laughs> i've got like three days off this week so i had half this week off and i've been using it to make content and when i say it's just made me feel so much better because i feel like i actually sort of have something to fall back on and having these days where i am doing loads of stuff at once is um really helping like 100 percent. so that's what i'm going to be trying to do more often and i'm just generally trying to push myself to do those sorts of things um because I am the kind of person, and I've always been this way, that will kind of lit, sit back and like let the chaos happen. I'm like, you know what? I'm chilling. I don't care anymore. And I'll just like lose my, lose spark with a lot of the things I do. But I'm not, I don't want to let that happen with this, especially on my YouTube channel. Like this is where, you know, this is the first thing that I did. And I think it would be weird if I was just like, bye YouTube. <laughs> and it just like went on Instagram. Because that would be really easy if I just did that. But I'm going to try not to do that. So yeah, I hope that sort of answers any questions that maybe some of you had about why I've been a bit AWOL. And why sometimes I do go a bit AWOL on social media. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you guys understand. I've actually had girls message me like, what? You work? Like, how do you work? and make this content I'm like sis i don't know i don't know <laughs> also in terms of my feelings without getting too deep into it i've definitely been if i put it this way learning more about myself and i've noticed a few patterns in the way i've been feeling and i'm kind of noticing notice no <laughs> noting this down so i can sort of <sighs> discover a bit more about my emotions and why they are that way if that makes sense without going too deep into it i don't want any of you guys to like be like what was she right <laughs> like i'm fine and there's periods of time where i'm so so fine like right now i'm fine and something um quite bad happened the other day and i'm managing to pull myself out of it but there's periods of time where i where i dip um if i'm being deadly honest and i think to be proactive with understanding myself does that make sense is, is something that i've realized is really really important anyway let's get off that topic because that topic is a bit it's, it's dark it's deep <laughs> i don't think i ever really got that deep on my channel and i think i still find it scary to go that deep um obviously i wouldn't tell you the ins and outs of my brain however i wanted to sort of mention those things because i know when i watch these kind of videos because they definitely have um it makes me feel better to know that that sounds really morbid i was gonna say it makes me feel better that other people are going through it but you guys know what i mean like to know that like there's other people out there 
feeling the same way you do it makes you feel like okay listen i'm not crazy <laughs> and it's normal basically another thing in my life that i feel like hasn't affected me but it's really it's really it's something i've been thinking about a lot the fact that i'm 23 <laughs> and i just don't feel 23 or i'm not doing things that a 23 year old should be doing um and it kind of put me in this like quarter life crisis where i was like um am i like really bad at life like am i not achieving what i should be achieving and i definitely feel like everybody must feel this at some point in their life because we because we do have like this massive pressure from society to be doing certain things at a certain age period like that is literally society tells us by 30 you should own a house you should have a baby on the way you should have a ring on your finger or if not be married like there's so many things that you could sort of have in your head that you should be doing and i think at 23 i was a bit like oh i haven't done any of the things i thought i would have done but when i say that i i'm talking about my teenage self my teenage self definitely thought yeah 23 i'm gonna be grown i have a man i'm gonna have my own place and i don't have any of the things i don't, don't feel grown um but then in some respects i do and this is the same thing where i'm kind of trying to like figure out myself understand my personality and understand where that fits in with me being 23 if that makes sense because i see other 23 year olds and they are so far ahead of me like they've got a bloody mercedes and an apartment and i'm just like i just bought a seat at Bifa. do you know what i mean like when i bought my seat at Bifa, i was like this is a big achievement for me because i've been saving up for a car and it felt so good to actually put my money towards something that i you know you, you sort of invest in because everybody needs a car so yeah i was so happy that i was managed to buy that car but then i found myself sort of like looking at other people on social media and thinking oh like what i've achieved isn't even that great and just really comparing myself to other people not that there's anything wrong with any of you saying this to me but a few of you were like you're 23 like what <laughs> and i was like oh my god do i act like i'm like 19 because i don't think i do like when i think about what i was like when i was 19 i was not with it i was not i don't know but then i'm like some people at 19 kind of act like how i act now so i think what i'm start starting to realize is everybody sort of has a different version of what they expect from themselves at a certain age like 100 percent. because like my sister for example she moved out when she like she moved out straight from uni so she was 22 when she moved out and I obviously haven't moved out yet. I lived on my own at uni, but does that count? Like, student loan. <laughs> I'm just a bit like, oh. <laughs> oh. I definitely thought as well, like, when I moved back home from uni, I was like, yeah, year tops. Like, one year. I'll be out of here. <laughs> but, like, by the end of this year, 100% I'm not going to be moved out. Unless I'm, I'm blow up. On social media right and i get 100k then maybe i'll move out but um, where i'm at now yeah with my job and my social media like, i could move out but why what's the point i'm just like in my head why would i want to spend like most of my wages on rent like realistically i don't know if it's worth it because i don't work in london either so where would I move to? Because <laughs> I live in Hertfordshire, so I'm like, do I stay in Hertfordshire? That's kind of boring. Um, so I'm just kind of in this place where I'm like, okay, I'm 23, I live with my mum, that's fine. Like, I'm, that's fine. <laughs> Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Where is my brush? I would usually like do a little like flick with eyeshadow and an angled brush but i'm gonna use my glossier brown flick because you know it's all the same thing you can use it on your eyes as well um and i'm just gonna do a little 
flick and then I'm gonna like line the inner corner a little bit but one thing that I am gonna work on it's not even working on but one thing that I do want to do is dress a little bit more like a 23 year old however that is supposed to mean and sort of like carry myself a bit more like a woman just do like womanly things like a lady yeah carry myself like a lady should i say carry myself like a woman <laughs> like i'm not a woman but do you know what i mean i feel like sometimes i carry myself like i'm 19 if we want to put it that way because i wear like really oversized stuff i wear like trainers all the time not that there's anything wrong with that but i don't know i feel like i'm testing and trialing different ways to make myself feel a bit more ladylike a bit more elegant um and i'm really enjoying it to be fair but i think i always will have that side of me that's fun and wears like loud clothing and wears like tomboyish stuff if you want to call it that because that is just the way i am i've always been that way like when i was younger i used to dress so boyish my mum used to actually hate it she used to hate it so much i used to dress with like beanie hats and like those like nike sb skateboard shoes do you know what i mean but yeah i'm on a bit of a journey on trying to figure that out trying to figure out different ways i can do that i do actually want to make a kind of video on that if i can kind of think of one <laughs> but yeah okay we're just finishing up the makeup now so i still use the same lip liner guys i'm boring and basic this is the natural collection lip liner it's the brown one like they only have i think four colors or something like that i try not to overline too much these days because i feel like i used to overline too much oh no i need to stop saying that i need to... <laughs> do you guys even know what i'm referencing to it's luca on disney plus but um on disney plus it's the new disney movie luca and someone made a um tiktok audio it's like Celestia Bruno, and then it's like dun, 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 you know that tiktok sound no no i lined my lips with that color um the lip gloss i've been loving at the moment is the one my sister got me for my birthday so this is the fenty one in pink dragonfly it's still on the little key ring um i need to put it on my car keys but yeah guys dragonfly i actually prefer this more than uh like the original color can you stop doing that because you're Just where's my plug over here Okay, the Fenty Beauty Dragonfly, I like it way more than like the original colour Fenty Glow, but I still do like that colour, but this one, this one has pink, and I like it because I wear blush now and I feel like it really ties everything together. Finally, we're on the lashes, so these are the lashes I use. I still use Amazon lashes, guys, I really don't see the reason of buying like expensive lashes um yeah so I'll, i will link these ones down below i do wear lashes now that fan out into a cat eye because i used to wear these lashes that went like whoop, and they literally made my eyes look silly i don't know why i used to wear that because i naturally have quite um like small eyes quite that like i don't know they're not almond shaped but yeah they kind of have that cat eye naturally shaped so i feel like this lash suits my eye so much more than the old lashes i used to wear oh my god why did that take me so long to say that let's put on a new pair just for you guys so this is what it looks like when it's out the glue i've been using at the moment is the geo lash glue in black i have a love-hate relationship with this lash you guys i'm not going to show it to you because it's actually the state of it is embarrassing because yeah it's it's just embarrassing basically it's really messy but um i have a love-hate relationship with the black one because it definitely sticks more um and i feel like when my lash is on it's on however because it's black um it's harder like it makes a little bit more mess on your eye and also um because it does stick so hard it kind of like 
hard to get off. So you'd have to use makeup remover basically to get it off. I forgot to put on <laughs> mascara on my natural lash because I was busy talking. And to finish up, this is a crucial step. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I suffer with this issue where my makeup comes off, like my eyes will tear up just randomly and my makeup comes off. And this is the only thing that sort of helps it. <laughs> so I just put this all over my face and I really try to focus on the under eye. It doesn't, if it gets in your eyes, it doesn't actually hurt. Cause look, oh, okay, maybe a little bit. How has my top like done this? I kind of like it. Okay, so that is the makeup all done. I think it looks amazing. I'm obsessed. I can't lie. I think it looks so good. It looks so good. Um, so I hope it gave you some makeup tips on how, like what products to use to have like a dewy, glowy look. I hope as well you got to know me a little bit more in this video. It feels really nice to get a bit personal, you know, and you can get a bit of an insight into my life because I feel like I keep making these vlogs like, hi, studio day, and you guys like have no context into like who I am, really. No, I'm joking. But no, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.